The following is a fan-based parody. Mirai Nikki is property of Saikai Suno Katakawa Shoten as read in Funimation. Please support the official release. We love our bread, we love our butter, but most of all... We're not eating bread and butter. We're not? Screw this! I'm going back to playing my adult PC games. That's right, Kotonoha. Use your breasts. On his penis. I'm playing school days. So, Reisuke, I heard you helped make the salad. Yup. I made it with lettuce, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Delicious, juicy, untainted tomatoes. You had me at cucumbers. Those fools! They don't realize that when I was making the salad, I injected the tomatoes with a deadly poison. Because just like all five-year-olds, I have the ability to obtain deadly poisons and inject them into things. There was really no reason for me to poison the whole salad. As long as nothing stops them from eating the tomatoes, they'll die. Hmm. Eat it. Hmm. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Hmm. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Hmm. Eat the f***ing fruit! Wait! Ah! Now that your mom's gone, we can skip lunch and move right on to dessert. You know! That's a great idea! I knew I should've poisoned the whole f***ing salad! Well, just like my lunch, another assassination attempt has gone right down the toilet. Fortunately, I anticipated the possibility that this might happen, and I have already began preparations for my next attack. Because just like all five-year-olds, I have excellent foresight. Race K! Big sister! We're going to have fun! Yes! Fun! Forever! Forever and ever. You're f***ing dead, bitch. Bring it on, Carrot Top. Oh, you can my hair tickles my butt. I've got you now, big sister. You're completely exposed. But not as exposed as these wires I'm holding. Because just like all five-year-olds, I know that water conducts electricity and wearing rubber gloves prevents me from getting shocked. Mom, what are you doing? I'm sticking my erotic PC game into the microwave. Um, why? Because it wasn't hot enough. I want to make it even hotter. That sounds like a really bad idea. What could possibly go wrong? Die! My bad. Damn it! You know, are you alright? Streaky! Yuki, as long as you're here, let's have sex! Now's not the time! It's never the time! Oh, Mr. Chipmunk, you're the best friend I've ever had. Are we friends with privileges? Oh, Mr. Chipmunk, you're the best friend I've ever had. And now you're dead. You know, why is Reisuke trying to kill you? He thinks I killed his parents. Well, did you? I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? Do you remember every mosquito you swatted? No, but... Yeah, that's what I thought. Think hard, you know. Is it possible that at some point you killed his parents? Please, don't kill me. I have a son. He's only five years old, but he's already exceptionally skilled at bioterrorism. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank here, Yuki. You two are a couple of idiots. All right, that's it. I've had enough of your bad behavior, young man. Now go sit in the corner and think about what you've done. Fuck you, and fuck your corner! What a rude little boy. His parents should really have a talk with him. That can be arranged. Put down the damn knife! If I can't kill Reisuke with a knife, maybe I can kill him with the power of enlightenment! Learn you must to control your insanity, or else die you will, and have sex with your boyfriend you will not. Kermit the Frog is right! I gotta do something! Yuno, what are you doing in here? Yuki, we don't have a lot of time. And there's something I need you to do for me. What is it? Pull down my pants and do me in the ass! Now's not the time! It's never the time! Special delivery for Yukatero Amano. I'll sign for that. Sure, why not? What do I care if some kid wants to sign for it? I hate this goddamn job. You know what? The instant you or somebody else grabs that package, I'm gone. I mean, I'm literally going to disappear from this scene for no explainable reason. Thus eliminating any chance of intervention should something bad happen to you in the next few seconds. Neat. 
Oh boy, my package finally came through the mail slot! No it didn't! Wait a minute, this isn't the sneezing powder I ordered! You fell right into my trap! I filled that package with cyanide and rigged it so that when it opened, it would be released! Then I baited you into taking the package away from me and opening it yourself! Because just like all five-year-olds, I'm a manipulative sociopath! Fine! Ignore me! <coughs> Yuki, why are you vomiting? Could it be that you're... pregnant? Stop smelling my underwear! Never! Let's settle this once and for all, big sister. Meet me at the top of the stairs in five minutes. I'll be there in four! <laughs> Alright, Race K, you want me? Well, here I am! Nice of you to join me, big sister. I hope you're wearing rubber. You hope I'm wearing a rubber? Yeah, baby! This can't be happening! How could I be losing to a little kid? I don't understand! That is why you failed. Shut up, Kermit the Frog! I'm bored. Oh, if only Yuki would come and kiss me. Then my strength would be miraculously restored. No, wait. What I meant to say is, if only Yuki would have sex with me. Now's not the time! It's never the time! Ouch. I just electrocuted you! And not only did you survive, you're not even injured! How is that possible? You know... Gasai. Damn, this hurts. Big sister, would you please inject me with this morphine to reduce my pain? Well? Yeah, I knew you wouldn't help me. Because just like all five-year-olds, I know that you, you know Gasai, are the world's biggest cut. Stop smelling my underwear! Never! Well, 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 look what we have here. My two greatest adversaries, incapacitated and completely defenseless. This looks like the perfect opportunity for me to dispose of them once and for all. Ooh, morphine! That's just what I need. My eye socket's been hurting like a bitch lately. Okay, here's the deal. In exchange for the syringe, I will spare your lives for today. If you agree with that, give me absolutely no sign. Then it's a deal. Why don't you just kill them and take the morphine? I don't do things that way, Mr. Chipmunk's ghost. Well, you should. Shut up, Mr. Chipmunk's ghost. 